All right, so we're gonna do a quick video on Ryan Fisher's Star Maps. This is uh, one of the Roll and Write games from the Spiel Press. It's usually in a book, a uh, little square book that looks like that. Uh, perforated pages, you can tear it out and play right on your sheet. It plays one to four players. What you're doing is charting the skies um, as, as astronomers. You're charting the skies, trying to fill this out as, as cleanly and perfectly and accurately as possible. Um, the game plays uh, one to four. So in a single player game, you're just trying for a high score. There's a various amount of uh, thresholds that you're trying for. But with multiple players, you're just, you're still, you're trying for the best score. Um, so let's get into it. Here's how you play. A round is made up of two phases. Calibration, you roll dice. Uh, you announce what the values are. Let's just go with not doubles to, to explain it a little quicker. Uh, you roll dice, announce what the values are. Two and a six. Each player then chooses one to represent a star symbol type. So the two, it's a little faint, you can't see it, but it's the uh, little sunburst, which are here. The six is this little like cloudy asteroid looking guy right there. Um, Whichever one you choose is going to be how you're going to use it. The other die is what you're going to fill in a square. So, um, I can go a two in a six that's touching the little asteroid. There's some over there and some over here. Or I can go a six in the little sunbursts. So, I'm just going to do it. And I'm going to fill in my, uh, I'm going to do the two in the, uh, here. So let's just say I put it right here. Two. Uh, so six is the asteroid and a two goes next to it. When I fill in both sides, so for example, let's say I go again and I do a six and a... Five. This one right here, uh, because the asteroid, I fill in a five next to it, so I'm going to do my five. Whenever you fill in both sides of it, you're going to put the sum of the two numbers in the little asteroid symbol. And what happens is, over the game, you're going to fill in all these symbols, and you're going to score at the end just the uh, the symbol. So there's my little asteroid. I've got three points. I might have a four here, a five, whatever, all throughout there. You're gonna tally up all your asteroids, put them right there. You're gonna tally up all your moons, your stars, your little little bursts, your big sunbursts, and your your cool bursts over here. You're gonna um, you're gonna tally up everything that you've scored uh, by getting both sides and, and the sum in the center. Um, there's a couple other things that score, and a couple other ways that this works. Uh, if you choose not to use your dice, you can um, check off one of these no dice ones. And what that does is it builds this connection. So this star here, you can't really gain until you've knocked that one off. Um, so then the sum of this number and this number are going to fill in that star. Now this one's interesting because it's next to both this little four-way burst and the star. So you can use it on either one. So if I rolled a one and a five, I can fill in the five here. But if I rolled a four and a five, I can put the five here as well because it's connected to two different shapes. These lock symbols mean this five here has to score in order to unlock this, uh, I'm just gonna call it a wing, it's an arm. So this arm doesn't score at the end of the game unless you've completed that lock. Uh, so to get a five here, I need a one and a six, a six and a one. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's the only way to unlock that arm of scoring. So I could have all these different, uh, I could have a five here and a three here, but I don't score them unless I get that lock. So you just have to make that value true, but the two uh, digits that you put on the sides of it to unlock that path for scoring. Uh, the last one is this, this like sun in the center here. The score is equal to the sum of all adjacent connected paths. So this one and this one, 